I was talking to God this morning on my way to work. And he began to tell me, he said, when we seek validation from people about who we are and how much we are worth, we become what's called a product. Now, when you think about a product, you think about things being sold to an individual. And he began to tell me, he said, when you are a product, it's important how you maintain who you are, the outer appearance, the inner appearance making sure you're selling a good product to the people. You can't afford to have a broken box on the shelf and think that it's gonna sell. Even though the product that's on the inside of the box is good, the outside appearance matters. That's what's going on in this world today. We're seeking validation about who we are, how we look, and, and how much we are worth on social media we're, we're willing to give up value to be validated and when we give up true value to be validated it becomes a problem so now I have to make sure I keep my outer appearance up I have to make sure I don't have any scars on my body that may tamper with who I am as the product I have to do all of these things as a product to keep what I got going and to keep what I'm doing selling. I can't afford the bad days. I can't afford to look bad. They might unfollow me. That's going to force up my money. Once those things begin to happen and you start falling off, having those bad days, getting scars on your body. When all of those things begin to happen, they do, they do what they have to do and they take you off the shelf and put you in what's called a stock room. And in the stock room, this is where all the items are placed that come in off the truck and then you have items that are going off the shelves because they're no longer valuable. And when things become no longer valuable, they get put up in the stock room. We're putting ourselves in situations to be stored in the stock room because we're seeking validation from people about how we look, who we are, how much we are worth. We're seeking validation. So I've put myself in a situation to where I can't afford to fail. I can't afford to have bad days. I can't afford to have a bad personality some days. I can't afford to go crazy in my mind because if I do, I lose value. And once I lose value, I come off the shelves and I get put into the stock. No, no, nobody can no longer see what you have to offer. That's why we see a lot of depression. That's why we see a lot of suicide. That's why we see a lot of kids and a lot of parents have a lot of suicide thoughts. That's why we see a lot of deaths. That's why we see a lot going on. Because we're put back into the stock. So then he began to tell me about Esau and Saul and how Esau sold his birthrights which is my value. I sold my value for a momentary fix. I sold value, true value, for a momentary fix. So when Esau sold his birthrights to Saul, Saul ended up inheriting everything and Esau with was a full belly we're willing to give up all of this give up all my true value because of the pain that I'm feeling right now because of the hurt that I'm feeling right now because of the situation that I'm going through right now I'm willing to give up everything that I got that's worth true value for this momentary fix. Now what do I have? 
I have the momentary fits. The pain is gone. The hurt is gone. The situation is gone. Everything is all right now. But now what do I have? I have nothing because I've given it all for a momentary fix. So now when the situation comes back to hand, what do I have to offer? So I'm speaking to you right now. If you are listening to this message, all God is telling you is just be a little more patient. If Esau was a little more patient and not looked into the situation for what it was and, 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 and really been patient with God, he would have earned the birthright to where he would have an everlasting, everlasting everything, land, everything Isaac had for him, he would have inherited. But because of a momentary pain, of a momentary hunger, of a momentary hurt, of a momentary divorce, of a momentary situation, of a momentary of my bills are not being paid, of a momentary situation, I gave up my true value. God is saying, just be patient. Just hold on. Just hold on just a little while longer. I got to make sure everything is right when I give it to you. I got to make sure everything is signed, sealed, and delivered when I give it to you. Because everything I make, I make good and very good. But if you can just hold on a little while longer, I promise you, it'll be worth the wait. Stop giving up your true value for a quick fix. And give up that quick fix and hold on for that true value. 